What's going on people, it is Irish Gunner HD here, you can call me Irish, and today we're going to be playing some GTA 5 on the PC, as you can see. Um, so, today I've noticed, I don't know how long it's been, but today I noticed that um, car mods have officially started coming for GTA 5. So, as you can see, we're in the Mazda RX-7 that belongs to Mad Mike from New Zealand. The Mad Bull, or the Rad Bull, or the Mod Bull, or the whatever he's calling this version of it. But um, yeah, it's pretty awesome. I, it takes a lot of work to get it installed and downloaded and all the kind of handling mods and stuff like that. But um, I can, I'm going to leave all the links in the descriptions that, are, that, that you need to get this um, to get this for yourself. I'm not going to walk you through how to do it because, again, it is kind of around and about compared to the way it used to be on GTA 4, where it was just kind of straightforward. There was one programmer that handled everything, basically. Um, but yeah, look, it's a, it's a ton of fun. So basically what I'm using here is the car mod itself, which is the, the, the physical model. Um, it overrides the Banshee, I believe. Um, I'm using a different drift mod. I'm using a, a different drift mods off 5mods.com, I think. Um, and that one, this one's really nice. It's powerful. It, 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 it works, basically. And I'm also using a no traffic mod. So what I found was when I was first trying to get some clips and trying to get some... Um, kind of district district uh, drifting gameplay for the for the for the video I was basically just running in every second corner even with population density down to the minimum I was running into traffic on every single second corner like so um definitely recommend if you don't if you don't want to kind of have that kind of headache and uh, and just uh, irritation and frustration uh, and no and no traffic mod there's one I think I think there's only one available and again I'll leave a link in the description and um, but yeah with that and with everything installed I think it's only the three of them yeah it's fantastic. It's a ton of fun. Um, as you can see, there are those intro clips I'm stoked on. I spent most of the day putting those together and um, trying to learn the, the Rockstar Editor. It's not that complicated, but it's weird trying to get the, the cameras, the way the camera moves can be kind of funky. So trying to get it to track the car properly is, is kind of tricky. Um, and then like with the, especially the, the, the shots with the depth of field enabled, like I had to do a lot of that manually. So <laughs> that was uh, that was tricky to say the least. But um, yeah, it's really fun. I suck. Like, I'm, <laughs> I'm really bad, like, I use, as most of you know, when I drift in games, usually it's on the Xbox, where I can use the wheel, or it's on the PC, where I can use the wheel, um, and I didn't try using the wheel with this, because as far as I remember, I tried it before on GTA 4, and it kind of just recognises it as in and out, like, it, it just recognises the input as left and right, it doesn't have any kind of leeway, really, and there's a big horrible dead zone, so... I didn't try it with the wheel, so what you're watching is me trying to play with the controller, and um, again, it's a lot easier, like I'd say it's a lot easier than using the, the keyboard and mouse, um, it's one of, the, one of the few things that's easier, but um, yeah, it definitely works, the car handles really well, it's um, the weird thing about these GTA kind of drifting mods is that the cars have no grip whatsoever, like they are, there's never a state when they're gripping and going straight they can't the wheel the, basically the way they work is that the rear wheels have to constantly be spinning so it's it, they, they feel really weird but um yeah well, like it, it just means that when you pull it off if you're good and you pull it off um it's it's very rewarding to pull off a nice kind of series of corners um again i'm, I'm brutal I'm, I'm really really bad as you can see here i put i pulled some few nice things together but by and large it's it's stuff like this just kind of over rotating and that kind of thing but, um, yeah, it's kind of a cool thing. So, it's the first, I believe, I think it's the first car mod. It's either the first car mod or it's, like, one of the first three or four. I've seen a Ferrari. Um, I've seen a Lamborghini Aventador, I believe. So, like, they're coming. They're starting to come in now. It is still just very round and about. You have to use OpenIV. Um, to get the handling mod, like, you have to you have to download a special handling.xml file and edit that and stuff like that. It's, it's a bit round and about. But it's nice to see that the game is starting to open up a lot more, like, to... Start, to sort of start reaching where GTA 4 was. Like, I believe there's Iron Man mods and stuff like that now, if I'm not mistaken. So, yeah, GTA 5 on the PC. It's starting to become what everyone thought it would be um, and kind of hoped it would be and we're afraid it wouldn't be when kind of Rockstar were, were, were kind of people were getting banned and stuff like that for using the, the mods online. Um, I'm trying to think what else is there. The... There's not a whole lot else. Like I just recorded a load of a load of drifting, <laughs> pretty much. Uh, I just recorded a load of drifting. Um, I'm trying to think. Is there anything else? Terribly important. No, I don't think so. At the end, there's a kind of like I spent some time just going in and getting some beauty shots, like some nice kind of sweep and angles and stuff like that of the car. And just hopefully we can get some more now. People can like maybe when the new Need for Speed comes out, kind of get the 3D models out of that, or like I'm assuming they'll be higher quality than the old Forza models and stuff. Um, or however they do it. This was a nice little wall tap, but I just over-rotated it a little bit too much. 
Um, yeah, like hopefully we can get some more models and hopefully with the Need for Speed thing we can get some nice body kits and stuff like that. Again, it's it's nice to see the kind of the, the future that the game is looking looking towards. Um, and also the performance is pretty, I don't know what's happened, but like there was a stage where like when it first came out I wasn't having too many problems, as you've seen I did all the tests. Um, then it kind of, there was a weird stage in the middle then when it seemed to go down a lot and it was lagging and stuttering and all. And then it seems to be, now it seems to be kind of back on track, more or less. Like, not it's not amazing or anything like that, but it's it's pretty much solid 60. So that's pretty good. So yeah, GTA 5 is looking good. I wonder if um, this kind of revival, this kind of thing, like I've seen at least one person on Reddit say, hmm, it's time for me to reinstall my game, re-download re my copy. Um, when they, once they realise they could uh, put in like the Aventador mods and stuff like that. So maybe, maybe, who knows, maybe GTA 5 will get a bit of a second wind. Not that it ever really died off, it's just that... I don't know, it just, it felt like a lot of people, you don't really hear about it too much anymore, other than the crazy, like, gifs and stuff like that, of the stunts and all that, and um, you don't really see too much GTA 5 anymore, but, yeah, that's pretty much it, I'm gonna just leave the rest of the gameplay to run there, because there's not much left, and, um, you can watch those clips at the end if you enjoy, but, that's it, it's, I'm stoked to, uh, to be able to have shown you this, um, this video and this car and stuff like that, so, if you enjoyed it, please do leave a thumbs up, again, the links are in the description, thanks for watching, and goodbye.